This video reviews how to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector and then shows one problem linked to this line. Now, a bisector passes through the midpoint of two coordinates. So the midpoint of A and B can be worked out. So if I call that M, then to work it out we find the mean of the X coordinates and the mean of the y coordinates. So that just becomes a half and 2.5. We could use either decimals or fractions here. Now it passes through the middle of the two coordinates and it also is at right angles. So if I find the gradient between A and B by using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 then 4 take away 1 is 3 3 take away minus 2 is 5 so the gradient between a and b is 3 fifths so the gradient which is perpendicular must be, well we, we reciprocate, so 5 thirds and change the sign so minus 5 over 3. And then to find the equation of the line we use y minus y1 equals the gradient x minus x1. And the gradient we've worked out was minus 5 over 3 and the coordinate is given here. So y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So the challenge here is to show that this rearranges to give that. Well if we times by 3 to begin with we get 3y minus 7.5 so I've times both terms there by 3 equals minus 5 x minus 0.5. Right so therefore if I now expand again so 3y minus 7.5 equals minus 5x, two negatives get positive when times together, so plus 2.5. If I now add 5x to the left, I get 3y plus 5x. If I add the 7.5, I get equal to 10. So I've therefore shown the result as required in the question. Right, we're then given a new line which has the equation 4y equals x plus 21. And we're asked to find the point where this line intersects that line. So for this we have to use simultaneous equations. So 3y plus 5x equals 10. Now, if I rearrange this, I can get x is equal to 4y minus 21. So I can therefore sub in 4y minus 21 where we have x. So 3y plus 5 lots of 4y minus 21 equals 10. Expand. So 3y plus 20y take 105 equals 10. So add them together. 20 3y equals 100 and 15. So that tells me therefore that y equals 115 over 23, which just equals 5. And if y equals 5, I can find x. x just equals 4y take 21. So x equals 4 times y take 21, which is minus 1. So the coordinate of e just the coordinate x is minus 1 and y is